Hey everyone, it's Miss Brandon from the Benjamin Branch of the Greensboro Public Library. Today we're going to make easy and delicious chocolate truffles. This recipe requires only two ingredients, eight ounces of quality chocolate and two thirds cup of heavy cream. The chocolate I chose to use has 60% cacao, but there are other flavorings you could add. I am adding a pinch of salt, a splash of vanilla, and also almost a tablespoon of butter for extra creaminess. Other things you could add would be a splash of coffee, some peppermint extract, or peanut butter. The first thing you do is you chop up the chocolate and put it in a heat-proof bowl. Then we're gonna warm up the cream in a microwave in 30 second bursts until it's steaming hot. We're then gonna pour it on top of the chocolate and let the residual heat melt it. You've gotta let it sit for about five minutes to let it do that. Then we're gonna stir, stir, stir until it's nice and creamy. You'll have already added the butter or the peanut butter before the hot cream, and now you're adding the other ingredients, any flavorings you wanted to add to it. Now we've gotta let this warm ganache cool in the fridge, and I'm putting it in a shallow bowl so it will cool evenly and quickly. Oh, licking off the spatula. We're gonna put some saran wrap right on top so it doesn't get any kind of a skin. And we're gonna let it chill in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now that the ganache has hardened, it's time to scoop it out into different portions. It gets kind of messy, so I'd recommend using a scooper if you have one. Now it's time to talk coatings. Here are some of the traditional coatings that are used. Um, there are so many options, it's only limited to what you can imagine. But today I'm gonna to be using cocoa powder, chopped nuts, sprinkles, confectioner sugar, and toasted coconut. I still have a few left, what to do, what to do. Other options include crushed peppermint, cinnamon sugar, cocoa and espresso, matcha powder, but I think I'm gonna use a little cocoa, a little sugar, a little cinnamon, and a little chili powder for some kick. Store your truffles in the refrigerator, but let them come to room temperature before you try one. Thanks for joining me today, and don't forget, the Greensboro Public Library is open online all day, every day, with downloadable ebooks, audiobooks, movies, music, and more. Thank you.